I think we're going to start. We're going to get ready to go. Is the sound working okay, Macy, if we start? Can you hear Macy if we start? Okay. I want to thank everybody for coming. I'm going to interrupt everybody's nice time by playing some music. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt everybody. And it's so pleasant here. It's really, uh, but I appreciate your attendance. And I have a few uh, remarks that I want to make. And I have the, some of them are prepared. And I have uh, five statements that I wrote down that I'm going to state for you. And, uh, no, don't be jabbed. Have at least five. Make sure I'm, they do five. <laughs> I won't do them at all without my glasses. Yes. Yeah. And they're uh, they have to do with introducing uh, what we're going to what, what's going to happen here. And uh, first, one, I want to quote the drummer Max Roach. He said, "If it hadn't been for slavery, we never would have had this music." And he said it kind of like that. And he didn't mean that. Slavery was was worth it, or um, the, but that the good and bad are intertwined, and one good can come out of bad, and bad can come out of good. And a second statement: usually rhythm is acknowledged as an African contribution, but equally African spirituality has played a big role. Third statement. Jim Crow America cast the former slaves as entertainers. You catch that one? Jim Crow America cast the former slaves as entertainers. But humanity prevailed when performers and entertainers became artists. Another one, fourth statement, Max Roach again. He said, if they'd let us into their schools, we never would have invented this music. Which I thought was just a great thing to say. Oh, that's yeah. great. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Then what do you mean? The schools are, uh, no offense to, uh, you know, but they're, uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's more dynamic and creative when you're not in, inside the uh, classroom. <laughs> it could be like a bad scene. The, it's the fifth statement. Sometimes, over the last period of time, so-called jazz has become frozen, stuck. Often what is called jazz is really historical reenactment. So I really had to say those things. I was, I was on my chest. <laughs> I want to introduce Bill Cole. And uh, Bill Cole is from Pittsburgh. And he, uh, like me, he's an elder. And he knows the tradition. And he's uh, had a lot of experience. He's heard some great musicians play and has played with a lot of great musicians. He's been, uh, he's heard Charlie Parker play in concert and John Coltrane many times and he's written books about, he's written a book about Miles Davis and a book about Coltrane and they're, they're good books. They hold up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They are good books. I read this book about Coltrane in 1973 and then I read it when we became friends more recently. I read it again and it's, it's still good. And I, I think you should, it's, it's available. And, um, so anyway, uh, Bill also was uh, the head of the music department at 
Dartmouth for a while, and he knows the tradition. But he's really a, a free player, I would say. When you say free player, I want to say something. What is that? Is a fr part of being a free player, I think, is a strong stance against music as merely entertainment, and a strong stance for individuality, and for individuality as a person, and as individuality as an artist. And Bill has also been drawn to instruments that are not part of the uh, American European uh, lore, right? <laughs> and uh, good for Bill. <laughs> yeah, I think good for you. And um, I guess I want to say too, I'm likewise part of this progressive tradition of of, of so-called jazz, trying to push the music forward to places it hasn't been in a different way. But th uh, my, mus my contribution in that way has usually been through written music. And I play a very old-fashioned European instrument. <laughs> so we're very different. And, but where we have met is what's interesting. And we've been practicing together for about six months or so. And getting together mostly for our own amazement, I would say. <laughs> and uh, we've met in uh, respect and friendship uh, with open ears and open eyes and open hearts. And our goal, as Bill says, is to make uh, one music. And uh, yeah, it's different. Uh, yeah, my last quote of the day, and we'll start to play something, is uh, a friend of mine, uh, Don Hesterberg, said, uh, um, art is like mud pies for grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> all right, thank you for listening to my, I had to get that all off my chest. And we're going to, um, we'll start.
That was great, Bill. Nice. Yeah. See you. Thank you. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, how you doing, Ellen? Yeah. You made it today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Maya. <laughs> All right. You want us? Thank you. On the side, the braces are on the side. See ya? No, we don't want to clap. Okay, why don't we take it off and I'll just play off the wood. Yeah? I'll just play off the wood, sonny. The metal wood. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks, Dana. Yeah, okay, hang on. Thank you. Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I haven't cr come across that bridge for a while.
I was playing Circle of Breathing all the way through. Oh, you were? Mm -hmm. And then what is the embouchure? Is that just a tube or what is, you know, how are you making the different pitches? Uh, what's my breath? Really? Um, just by your breath? Is that, so that's just like a tube? Well, I can tell you the truth. There's no little guy in here. It's always different for us. Yeah, yeah. Now, we hadn't done that before. And it's interestingly, this instrument, and when we played it, we've been playing at Bill's house mostly, and this instrument, it really, to me, it sounds like it's in a, it should be in one key, but it sounds like it's in a different key than, yeah. than uh, I hear it more in the key of C here than it was at his house, so it was in, like, B. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, and it seems to move sometimes during the playing. Sure. Yeah. Hmm. And then, you, but uh, it's, it is different every time. Uh, oh, excuse me. Wonderful. The fun. And uh, should we do uh, the, the third piece? The lonely man piece, or the which one? Uh, what were we gonna say? The third piece. The third piece. Yes. yes. Exactly. Lonely man. All right. <laughs> so i uh, gonna play a song with a name and. <laughs> 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 that I that I made myself. That's called Lonely Man, <laughs> and I'm gonna play it. And then um, this is. Uh, do you want to say what the instrument is or anything, or just just one um, play? This is a Nagaswaram. Comes from India. Say again. Nagaswaram. N a g a s w a r m. I'm glad I was able to remember how to spell it.
Christ. Mm. What's that instrument called? Sona. Sona. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Chinese. The sound is so different in here than where we've been playing. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. Yeah. Yeah. Let me no. stretch out a little bit now this time. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you. 
Thank you for uh, hanging in there with us. That was really fun. That was, uh, yeah, I think that was, uh, it's different every time. <laughs> and I, I have a good time every time. So it's, uh, thanks for coming along for the ride with us and helping uh, wherever it went, helping it to get there. Yeah. And uh, I think that's, uh, that's all we had uh, prepared for you tonight. So I, uh, <laughs> uh, I hope everybody will uh, listen to WCTV Channel 8 and see uh, how did it really sound? How did it come out? <laughs> yeah. And I uh, know I'm interested in that. When's the next show?